Bom dia, day number 9 in Rio de Janeiro. We're going to eat breakfast and after that we're going to a hike to Pedra do Telegrafo and also it's my father's birthday he is 57 years old today and I'm planning to wish him happy birthday right there from Pedra do Telegrafo you will see Pedra do Telegrafo, the place where we're going to, is located 40 kilometers from Copacabana Beach, where we are right now, and then it's followed by a 40 minutes hike through the forest, a rainforest, of course. This is one of the problems here. Many of the attractions are very far from downtown Rio de Janeiro, so you need a car or take an Uber or a bus, and that takes a lot of time. So that's why you need to stay at least two weeks in Rio de Janeiro to fully enjoy enjoy it. However, I don't recommend you finish all the attractions. My advice is to leave at least one point of interest in every place you visit so you have a reason to come back. so afraid it's gonna start raining because look at those clouds over there so we stopped the car here on the hill and I want to show you the view Look at the water over there, it has two colors, the intersection between a river and the sea. And also, look at that beach, it's from here all the way to the end. Let's check this out. I started walking to Pedra do Telegrafo. The road is very steep and it lasts for about 40 minutes to get there. Here we have a sign that indicates we're going on the right direction. I hope this is the right way. Until now, everything is good. We don't find any wild animal, any snake, nothing like that. But it is very exhausting trail. You need to be in a good shape. and it's written one kilometer oh but it's this way or what telegrafo one kilometer this way monkey a monkey was staring at us this one over here dog exploring the jungle. Bom dia. Bom dia.
Não vou fazer uma pergunta dessa, não. This is how the road looks like here. I think we just have a few hundred meters and we will get to our destination. It was a very pleasant hike, full of nice surprises like small monkeys and birds and butterflies. Now we will enjoy some beautiful views from up there. All the effort is definitely worth it. Beautiful. In case of rain, this could be a good shelter completely covered by this rock and I bet we wouldn't be the first ones. I wish I could catch all the nice moments during this hike because I just saw the most gorgeous butterfly ever, huge blue butterfly. Going down a little bit. Butterflies everywhere. This is one of the most unbelievable views I've ever seen. Wow. <laughs> We just finished taking photos at the famous Telegrafo stone and there is one thing you need to have except a good physical condition and that is patience. No matter the day or the hour when you decide to come here there's gonna be a lot of people and you have to wait in line to get your photos and you cannot stay too long because everyone has to have that perfect Instagrammable photo. And like it wasn't enough, it's getting dark. Now I have to walk very slow because I got injured. And it hurts so badly whenever I step. I would be extremely hypocrite to tell you to not take photos at Stone Telegraph or Pedra do Telegrafo. Uh, but I want to tell you to be very careful because it is extremely dangerous. And there was a guy who was doing these maneuvers like, oh my gosh, my heart stopped when I saw him, I swear. To never do that, please. Because you can die so easily and it's a pity for only one photo, for some likes, for some followers to risk your life. It's just not worth it. There are many people jumping on the rock. The rock, it's stable for now, but we don't know for how long. So just keep in mind that you have to be extremely careful and don't risk your life for an Instagram photo. It is not worth it. We already know that it happened a few times for some famous Instagrammers or travel bloggers or fashion bloggers or whatever they were uh, when they tried to take a very risky photo. I particularly remember the case of those three famous travel bloggers who did that photo above uh, the top of a waterfall and they all fell down and died. People very young and very talented and, and they lost their life for a photo. So. I personally risk my life today, I admit, but I don't think so, it's gonna happen again. Thinking that in just a moment I could lose my balance and fell down and die. No, it's not a moving leaf, it's a moving ant holding a huge leaf.
and there are there are other monkeys in that tree and we're heading back to our car waiting for us at the edge of the road <laughs> 